Hi, everyone. We're David and Jamie from The Rooted Marriage, Stonebriar Community Church's online marriage ministry. And we'd love to encourage your marriage relationship today. You know, there are some beautiful words that just lift your heart when you hear them from your beloved. <laughs> Such as, I love you. I forgive you. You were right. And... Will you marry me? Usually followed by a very excited, yes! <laughs> you know, we love engagement stories, and we've even helped out with a few. And we always look back at ours with fond memory. But once the excitement of the proposal passes, the work of planning a wedding gets underway. But there's something important to consider. Planning a wedding is different than preparing for a marriage. The great news is that both those processes can be joyful, meaningful, and productive. Mm. So here are three great ways newly engaged couples can prepare for a lifetime of adventure together. First, find out strength and growth areas as a couple. Mm. You can take an assessment that has been specially designed to help engaged couples identify key areas in marriage that are strengths for them and areas that might need attention, conversation, and wisdom. An online assessment such as Prepare and Rich, created by Dr. David Olshine at Life Innovations, or Symbus by Drs. Les and Leslie Parrott, are great tools that help give couples scientific insight into key areas of their relationship. And the great thing is... Well, the numbers tell the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, it's important to have purposeful conversations around key topics before you marry so that you can pursue clarity and unity as a couple. Mm, that's right. Communication, finances, conflict resolution, and relationship expectations. These are all areas that will be lifelong conversations. It's important to get started out on the same page together. That brings us to two key words to describe why these conversations are so important. Clarity and unity. Clarity is understanding where your partner is coming from on a topic or an issue. And unity is the togetherness that comes from clarity and understanding as you make decisions as a couple about how your new family will work. It's the oneness factor that is described in Genesis chapter 2 and Jesus' description of marriage in Matthew chapter 19. Check out books like How to Get Engaged by Bob Beale or Getting Ready for Marriage by Jim Burns and Doug Fields for great lists of questions and guided conversations in key areas. And lastly, embrace the wisdom, encouragement, and investment of those who have gone before. In our engagement, we were blessed to have several couples spend intentional time with us. You know, they asked us deep and sometimes challenging questions. They pointed us to authors, scripture, and wisdom principles that have helped them in their marriages. And they put a face and a heart to the wisdom that we were soaking up through books, messages, and videos. Even today, after 18 years of marriage, we still reach out to them to laugh, remember, and ask questions when we hit challenges and crossroads along the way. It's made a huge difference in our marriage. So, do you know where you are as a couple? Are you talking through the important things in marriage for clarity and unity? And are you learning principles and wisdom for your marriage? Through the Rooted Marriage and Stonebriar Community Church, we offer a great opportunity to talk through all three areas as you prepare for your marriage. We call it Marriage Foundations, and it's a multi-week online class that couples can do alongside coach couples who will walk with them through assessments, conversations, and intentional teaching to get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Our next class begins later this spring, so check back to stonebriar.org events and their Rooted Marriage Online on Facebook and Instagram. So congratulations to the engaged couples in your life. And we are always praying for you, for them, and the adventure to come. Till, Till next time. time.